Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to fix the issue where all your installed RAM is not fully usable in Windows. Let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is search for MESConfig in the Windows search bar. The best result should be System Configuration. Go ahead and open that up. In the System Configuration window, go to the Boot tab and then click on Advanced Options. In this new window, check the box next to Number of Processors. In the drop-down menu, select the highest number available, depending on how many processors your computer has. Next, check the box next to Maximum Memory. If the value here is zero, delete it and type in the amount of memory you have installed in megabytes. For example, if you have 8 GB of RAM, you would multiply 8 by 1024, which equals 8192 megabytes. If you have 16 GB of RAM, the number will be 16384 and so on. Once you've entered the correct amount, click OK to save the settings. Now that that's done, you can close the system configuration window. The next step is to adjust the performance settings. Open the Start menu and type Adjust the Appearance and Performance of Windows. Click on the result to open the Performance Options window. Once the window opens, go to the Advanced tab. Under Virtual Memory, click the Change button. Make sure that the box for Automatically Manage Paging File Size for All Drives is checked. If you had a custom size entered before, change it back to Automatic. Click OK to save your changes, then restart your computer for the settings to take effect. One more thing you might want to check is your physical RAM installation. If you've recently installed new RAM, make sure that it is seated properly in the motherboard. Open your computer case and check that the RAM sticks are securely in place. Sometimes they can become loose, especially after an upgrade. Even if the RAM itself isn't defective, it won't work correctly if it's not properly connected. Lastly, if you're still having issues, you can try running the Windows Memory Diagnostic Tool. This will scan your memory for any potential problems. You can find this tool by searching for it in the Start menu. If this video helped you out, make sure to join the Show Me Software Free newsletter. It's linked in the description below. In this newsletter, I will tell you about the latest software tools and AI that can make you more productive at work and also improve your personal life in many different ways. You can also reply to these emails with any technical support questions you might have, and I'll do my best to help you out for free. This newsletter is completely free and will always be free, so click the link in the description to sign up.